Does it look better or does it look worse? It looks the same. So this morning I was spending hours and hours on my own Instagram feed from 2018 and I was like, damn, I haven't been roasted in quite a while. So today I'll be redrawing a piece from five years ago, January 14th, 2018. So I've done this in the past and people can't help but not be able to hold back their opinions, which I totally get, but it is better. My current drawings are better than my last ones, but I get it, you know, the simplicity of the previous one, the line, you know, cause now I don't really draw with lines so much. This, that, yada, yada. I know and I get it. But I've learned so much more about shape language, about design fundamentals, about line weight and anatomy, that my redraw will absolutely be better than last. And if you disagree with me, then you could take that somewhere else. I don't wanna hear it. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by Vic, but more on that later. So the drawing I decided to go with today is this pink, simple waist up of this garage. I said go to this one because I like the colors. I know I could do a better job. And I can make it a little more spicy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the corner of my screen. I don't usually like drawing the sketch while recording because I get so nervous. I don't want people to look at me while I do this. And then the drawing just automatically is worse. So this character doesn't really have much of a personality. So I'm gonna bestow one upon her. I'm not really sure what her expression should be. I feel like I'm always doing a bored expression though. So it looks like she's kind of disheveled. Maybe her hair is a bit of a mess. So let's try to lean into that. I see that she's wearing like a cool bra. Kind of feeling like my old art and I'm not happy with that. I wonder if it's because the eyes are so big. You know, I just don't feel like it's anything new from me. You know, it's kind of hard to redraw something that you've already drawn because when I look at a reference, you know, that's in my head. Like I'm looking at this, so that's in my head. That's what I see. I want every drawing that I make to be different than my last one. I want it to be a little bit exciting that it came from me. You know, I want it to be surprising and different. And I'm gonna make these eyebrows look really goofy. I feel like already that's actually, you know, kind of unique and different. Also, she has this upturned nose. Here's a little character design tip for you. Because everything is this big size, and I need some contrast in this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flatten out the nose and that'll make a little bit of interest. Another way of doing it is I can make a really petite nose. Well, but I feel like it wouldn't give it enough character. I'm glad I changed my whole entire idea because this was not working. Here's a little tip for you. So right here, these two lines are parallel. Look at the shape that it's making. It's making a boring ass shape. But if I make this line like that and this line like that, look, no boring shape. Now we have a triangle. That's a lot more exciting of a shape. I like the idea that maybe there's like stickers on her knees, how there's band-aids with like cute little designs on it. And I know this is a hoodie, but already this drawing didn't look like a hoodie. So I'm going to exaggerate the not hoodie aspect of it. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna extend the drawing. It's just basically to have an idea of what her anatomy looks like underneath. So I always like to focus a little bit longer on the sketch because if your sketch sucks, then your drawing's gonna suck. You're not gonna save your drawing. Let's just color pick. So here's the thing. Do I make it lined or do I do what I always do? I'm gonna do what I always do. Who am I, what am I, who am I even kidding? And let's do it. This is a pretty weird color scheme I did. This pink in the hair is just like, there's just nothing to it. You can't even see it. The red in the coat, shouldn't that be reflected in it? What was I thinking? These are not colors I would choose these days, that's for sure. Here's the thing. Do I make this the yellow from the jacket cover? You know, you make it better, but it also has to be recognizable. Just on the edge. That's, yeah, that's recognizable. What if all this is like a top? Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm learning how to render. I'm gonna try to apply some of those things. Red, bold choice, Jackie. Yo, I'm not happy with this. It's the pressure of the camera, I swear. Couldn't be another reason. So you might be noticing I'm not using my usual tablet. That's because Vec sent me their new tablet. Thank you to Vec. 
sponsor of this video. When Vic reached out to me to try out their new VK1200 display tablet, I was honestly really curious because of like the super low price point. When it arrived at my doorstep, it was a really nice box packaged really nicely. The tablet is 11.6 inches. The display itself is sleek and thin and it has a metal frame that adds some weight to it. So it doesn't really feel cheaply made and I've tried a lot of tablets in my day. It also doesn't come with any legs to prop it up. So I had to prop it up against something I had in my house. The display comes with two pens, which is really cool, but the pens themselves are really light and I wish there was a little bit more weight to it. They have a pen holder with some nibs that you can just change the nib out whenever you want, just like this. It comes with two cords to attach it to your computer, um, an HDMI and a USB cord, but my computer does not hold HDMI cords. So luckily Vec sent me a really great converter. I did have issues getting the driver and display to work, but support was very helpful. They remotely got it working for me, but it took a few days because they're located in China. So when I was sleeping, they were working and vice versa, but eventually we got it to work. When I started to draw, it felt pretty good. I was really impressed that it had pen tilt because usually displays at this price point do not have pen tilt. But if I'm gonna be really honest, I am actually super impressed with a $150 tablet. My first bamboo tablet had no display and it was $150. And this is incredible that you can have a display for this price. So if you are a beginner and this is in your budget, I really actually do recommend this tablet. And you can get 5% off this tablet by clicking the link in my description. So let's get back to the video. Should I restart? I feel like there's way more, no. Don't be crazy. I lately really enjoy having little square edges like that. I think that's really cool. I feel like I always learn so much and the eyes are the most important part. So it's like, why would you do that first? But I'm crazy and we don't know why I do that. We shall not forget the cute little things that I was gonna do. So let's look up 2000 stickers, cute. So we're looking at a smiley face. Oh, I love adding accessories, but that's, it's not the time or place. How do ripples look like? Um, yeah, looks like circles. I can do that. I want it to be pretty graphic. Well, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a loose sketch to start with. Okay, that's for later. This is always the hardest part. <laughs> a good old hand. I'm always MacGyvering it because I never want to fully sketch it out first. And see, I always go in and I do start, start doing too much. Like, I'm gonna do her nail color and I'm gonna add her a ring. You know, she doesn't need a ring. I need to stop. I'm not happy with her face at all. I think it's her eyes look crazy. I'm gonna add a new layer and see how I can fix this. I feel like I'm doing too much. Does it look better or does it look worse? Honestly, it looks the same. Maybe I need some like nose definition. What if I just put it in that one corner? That one corner looked good. Maybe just this side. Maybe a little bit of jaw definition. Ooh, this looks crazy. Oh, you know what it needs? A collarbone definition. Does it need a little bit of boob definition? I actually quite like this. Shall we look up reference? No. Why would I do that? You can tell that it's water and then what I'm gonna do on top of that to make it even more, extend these shapes and these colors. Hold on to your horses. Mm -hmm. 
little touches. And how else does water look like? Can I make it more look like water? Maybe some more shine. Maybe shine. Does water look like water? Hmm. Just a little bit more ripple. Okay. I have to stop or I'm just gonna keep going. Oh yeah. I really like this redraw. I feel like it has a lot more personality than the previous drawing has. I feel like she tells a lot more of a story with her pose and her expression and some elements of her clothing, even the environment that she's in. I think the drawing's better. And if you disagree, I don't wanna hear it. Do not tell me. Keep that in your hair, in your heart, forever. Thank you for watching. Please comment what you think. Also feel free to dig through my Instagram and comment on which piece you'd like to see me redraw. The rule is it's gotta be like four years plus, then I'll be willing to give it another go. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.